Let me start at the end and pick up from what John and Sam said. Um, there was a discussion about uh, 15 years ago uh, when Cam Roxburgh and company wanted to start a church in Burnaby um, at, um, um, at a, a place, a building of the church that had chosen to close. Um, and we drew together um, uh, several of the churches, uh, you know, as you remember all. Um, and we talked about what it would be, you know, given that we were all challenged and struggling, what it would be to start getting another church. And we talked around the room and realized that if all of us had six services on a weekend, completely full, we could probably manage to fit about 5% of our respective populations in our buildings. And then we began to factor in the other places. And by the end of the discussion, we decided not to do the numbers counting and not to do the demographics and not to do what we had to do. Just to go where we believe God had led us. Now, what happened out of that is Southside, which is an interesting experiment. Southside is by no means, in fact, in some ways, in no means, a model for church, uh, bluntly and fairly and ruthlessly and clearly. Um, and yet it has affected hundreds and hundreds of lives. Uh, and several churches are grown out of that. Now, as you know, with the great suspicion you're probably aware on a 9 o'clock on a Friday night, I'm only telling that story because it's a good story. <laughs> There's lots of stories that have gone south. Um, but I want you to know that um, there is a necessity um, that if this cluster of churches, this family of churches, grew to engage 10% of the population of Western Canada, we would not yet replace the number of people that have left the Christian denominations in the last 30 years. Now, that would be a starting point. Uh, but um, we get our, um, ourselves and not sometimes um, unnecessarily about where we might go, where God might lead us. The Archbishop of New Westminster, um, Douglas Hambridge, pointed out to his diocese 20 years ago that God did not need them for his work. He would find other people if uh, they chose not to be used by him. And I will not say anything except Douglas, who is in retirement in that diocese, has seen diocese attendance drop by 70% um, in these last 20 years. 